I am Anil Kumar sharing with you test problems. Here is question number 5, an application question on polynomial equations and inequalities, unit 4, advanced functions. Now this question here is of 7 marks. Let's look into this question in details. The question is, an open top box is made from a rectangular piece of cardboard with the dimensions of 24 cm by 30 cm by cutting congruent squares from each corner and folding up the sides. Determine the dimensions of the squares to be cut to create a box with the volume of 1040 centimeter cube. So in such questions it is important to sketch a diagram. It always helps, right? So we'll make a rectangle. This rectangular piece is of cardboard. The dimensions are 24 by 30, right? So let's write 24 here and 30. Now congruent squares are cut from each corner so let me just draw these dotted lines indicating that the squares are cut from the corner and then of course you fold them to make open top box. Now let us say these dimensions are x. Now when you cut squares of x unit x by x from each corner the dimensions of the box will be the base will be 30 minus 2x x from here and x from there 2x and the width will be 24 minus 2x so that is going to be the dimension for our box correct and the height of this box is going to be x so the volume of the open top box can be written as x times which is the height length into width which is 30 minus 2x times 24 minus 2x. Now the question says determine dimensions of the squares to be cut to create a box with volume of 1024. So we need to find the value of x then we get the dimension of the squares for volume of 1040. So we can equate this to 1040 and then find the value of x. So that is what the question is. So let us expand and then find the value of x which can satisfy this equation. So let's expand, I'll write x first, expand these two factors, 30 times 24 will give us 720, 30 times minus 2x is minus 60x, minus 2 times x times 24 is 48 and minus 2 times minus 2 is 4 x times x is x squared so that should be equals to 1040 now we can open this bracket rearrange the terms so good idea to always write with highest degree first so x times 4x squared will give me 4x cubed let me write 4x cubed first combine these two terms we get 8 with negative sign 8 and 6 plus 4 is 10, 108, x times x is x times x is x squared and then we have plus 720x and let's bring 1040 to left side so it will come with a negative sign equals to 0. Now that's the polynomial equation to be solved. So we will insert some values of x which should be positive. Also remember one thing that in this particular case x cannot be more than 12 since if width is 24 12 will be like half of it correct so you cannot cut a square more than that correct so we will write down our restriction that x has to be greater than or equal to 0 or less than or equal to 12 note here if I make x as more than 12 my width is going to be negative and we cannot have negative width so that's the restriction on the domain of x now let's use calculator and find the values of this polynomial. Let me call this polynomial as p now. So I'm calling this polynomial as p of x, right? So we'll say what is p of 1? So I'll equate, I'll substitute 1 for x. So I'll have 4 times 1 cube minus 108 times 1 square plus 720 times 1 minus 1040, right? Let's see what it is. So we can use the calculator and so we get 4 minus 108 plus 720 
minus 1040 equals to minus 424. So we get minus 424 which is not 0. So let's try for p of 2. So p of 2 will be 4 times 2 cube minus 108 times 2 square plus 720 times 2 minus 1040. So let's see what that is. So we get 4 times 2 cube minus 108 times 2 square plus 720 times 2 minus 1040 equals 2. We get 0 this time. So, so that means 2 is a factor, right? So we know at least one dimension which is 2 by 2. Now this question is actually 7 marks question. So we should try for other possible answers also. I think that is kind of critical, right? So what we can do at this stage is that we can do synthetic division and find other solutions. So we found that 2 is one of the solutions. Now let me write down the coefficients of this equation which is 4 and then minus 108, 720 and minus 1040. And since 2 is one of the dimensions, we can divide this by 2. So let's bring down 4 times 2 is 8 and if we add them we get minus 100 and uh, times 2 will give us 200 and this is 1040 so 200 let's add this up so we get 2 and 7 plus 2 is 9 oh sorry it is negative 200 so 5 right and let's multiply this by 2 so we get 1040 as expected that should be 0 correct so we get a quadratic equation here which we can now write so we know x minus 2 is a factor so we can write x minus 2 times the equation is quadratic equation 4x square minus 100x uh, plus 520 so that is the polynomial equation right now we need to find 0. So 1, 0 we already have which is x equals to 2 and for this equation well 4 is a common term we can take 4 common. So let me write polynomial again here which will be I will take 4 also. So 4x minus 2 times if I divide by 4 I get x square minus 25x and 4 1 times and 12 is 330 right. So that is the factor. To equate it to 0, we can actually use quadratic formula and find the value of x. Okay, So x could be, let me use another ink here. So quadratic formula for this, x equals to minus of b, which is 25, plus or minus b square, 25 square is 625. Okay, let's use calculator. So 625 minus 4 times ac. So 4 times this, you should do all these calculations. So 4 times 0, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 1 is 520 as we had there, divided by 2 times a which is 2. Let's use the calculator, find the answer. So what we have here is, let's first figure out what is there in the square root, right? So we have square root of 625 minus 520 equals to square root of 105, right? So in decimal it is 10.24. So if I write plus value then it is much higher than our boundary condition. So we'll use the negative value 10.24 right. So we'll take away. So we'll do 10.24. We'll take away 10.24 from 25. So let's do that. 25 plus minus 10.24 divided by 2. So we get two possible answers. So which should be so let's do 25 minus 10.24 divided by 2 is equals to 7.38. So when we take negative of 10.7.38 is our answer, right? The other value will be more than the limit. So there is no point taking the other value, which is not possible. So from here, we get two possible solutions. Do you see that? So we can write down our answer and our answer is 
The dimensions of the squares should be 2 cm by 2 cm, that is one possible solution, or 7.38 cm by 7.38 cm, right? Now have a good look at it. Since this was a 7 mark question, we should actually go in for the second route also and try to find the answer. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.